That's a new kitten. <laughs> oh, he's my. That's a new kitten for my rag doll. So he's gonna be a tiny brother. He's a bit mm -hmm. skittish at the moment. I'm in my clinic room. I do all these uh, toys I like the kitten for my older rag doll. Um, so this is box opening for second hand um, Smart Dog Beyond. It's a new scalp. I think it's a completely new one. Because my obvious ban from Smart Dog I can't buy directly. So I was quite happy to actually find the second hand in the UK, which is brilliant. Um, obviously, it is cheaper as well. You don't pay the fees because UK currently is not in favor anymore. I mean, not in the EU, so we fell out of favor and everything is ridiculous now. Beyond comes with um, extra wig, I think, and bust, different bust. Um, so He's very shy, this kitten, bless him. It's basically his, um, he's doing his first hour here, so. Oh, very well, how fitting. <laughs> Cat ball. Um, I'll leave it for, for later. Um, just the dog first. The reason I liked uh, Beyond is because she's realistic and she's more realistic than any of the semi real dolls, I would say. Because her facial features are more of a, like BGD vinyl or oh, BGD resin. Uh, I think she's the only sculpt which, like in the, in the Coco Cow, which is currently available at the Smart Doll, anyway. Just to clarify, I I like the smart doll, but I can't stand a certain person who owns it. I know it's a bit hypocritical, hypocritical, but that's uh, I've got my reasons for it. So she comes with no uh, gray underwear because all my previous smart dolls were coming with a white. So her eye is exactly the same as my um, resilient. I had resilient. So, and the cocoa skin, and obviously the only thing is different is if you look, her head is very, I mean, her nose is new. She's got this little dimple under her nose, which is quite realistic in my opinion. And she's got much um, brighter makeup as well. The only thing I don't like is the eyebrows. They're too plain. They just literally... Um, a line <laughs> but it's okay so nothing really to tell about the body to be fair and i think she will do sure she's in her medium bust oh it's slightly different under actually because previous one was with the shorts so just the panties and like knickers so yeah i mean that's the i'm looking forward to more realistic scalps really I don't know what I want to show you more of the new doll or the new kitten. I always wanted the ginger cat and ginger apparently is lucky. Um, and my rag doll when I brought the carrier in and he saw the kitten he like hissed and just walked away. He was not interested. And I was surprised because he's the most social um, cat I've ever seen and he loves dogs but he doesn't like cats bizarrely but it will be okay anyway so she came with her original wig I think which is quite unusual wig oh is it that your original wig oh I think it is Oh, I'm not sure now. Let me just double check. 
Confused.com. So, which one is her original wig? Ah, okay, no, this is her original wig. It's more like a look, I mean, it looks to me on the picture, it looks very different in front, but actually looking here, it looks like a, a yarn wig. I know the look of it, right? <laughs> And the, the seller said to me that she will put some Zaza, Zazo the wig, Zazo doll's wig. So let me try, I don't know what the front in here, basically like a, a African style, what used to be fashion back in the 70s, 70s, 80s, 90s probably more like. I think that's front. It should fit okay if it looks. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Labra poodle. No, it's quite cool actually. It suits her very well. I will change the eyes because I don't want to have the same, I mean, two dolls and a, and a cocoa color with the same eyes shade. She would definitely benefit maybe from bright eyes. But she's cute, right? Hmm. Oh, quite cool. And her original wig. The reason I wasn't sure which was the original because when I saw that, when I opened that, um, look, and you can see the stresses in there, how they've been sewn in. So clearly that was missed. And um, that's not the only one. Oh, here we go, another one here, look. I'm not, you know, obviously if you do this, you will not see it, but that's not the point. So you have to put all the hairs like that, which is not how it should be. If you make a wig, I make wigs, obviously not so in one, but ideally if you do, you clearly connect these two. You don't leave them like that. And that is the problem for the doll price like that, having a wig of this quality is, sorry, it's... it's Bad. Bad. But I mean, it's okay if you style it and cover it, but I make like a better wig than that. Sorry. Uh, it's obviously my personal opinion, and I can't put it on now. But to be honest, I never use smart doll wigs. I always change them. I just put them away, put them in a with a box full of wigs, and I just make my own and or buy nice ones. Uh, yeah, I can't put it on. It doesn't have a stretch at all. It's literally just a sewn in no stretch wig. Oh, sorry, I don't, don't want to damage the, the knife. If I manage to do this, I'll put a picture of her, so... Oh, so, come on. That's the wing. And the Madeline sponge, which is handy. I've got about 101 of them, uh, because I've got resin dolls. So it's very handy to remove the stain and for the cocoa and the vinyl it's handy to remove the the hand marks which I leave quite plenty for and that is her default bust and the cocoa um, stand. That's pretty much it guys and uh, this was really just to kind of 
show you both kitten <laughs> and dog. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Bye.